Get in your nurse because I scurry around. Next part, guys. This is. It is the next part. I'm gonna show this. To, oh, it's a woman. I thought it was a guy. Well, what does annoy you? I sent those Zangus and my trusty Jolteon. We're gonna try out Brick Break on Asphalt. The first Thunderbolt. Yeah, nothing, nothing in this place can actually survive a Thunderbolt from my joke count unless it, unless it has a strength against it, like ground types or Pokemon that is very effective against it. Like Dawn Fang can take a Thunderbolt because it won't be effective. Here we go. Ooh, I'm loving that critical hit right there. Now we really can't harm that Dawn Fang. Dawn Fang's got that giant ass bulky defense. Sorry for that language, but it does. And that, too, will also be able to take my electric attack. Well, here's what we're going to do, then. We're going to go ahead and bite Dawn Fan for special defense hits. And do a good half health. Then we're going to see if we can take it out with a cross claw. Yeah, there we go. That's how we do it. That's how we do it! Yes, thank you. Ooh, Fire Punch. That's actually pretty good on Aphroth in this game because it has good special attack. But then again, it is facing up against my, uh... I think Aphroth and these two can take them out. Let's use Shadow Ball on it to avoid the static. Jolteon! Sanja! Give it a Sanja Bolt! In the words of Lieutenant Surge, give it a Sanja Bolt! Level 42! Yeah! Again, Jolteon overpowered for this area. The highest level Pokemon in this area is about like level 30, probably level 37. Possibly, maybe lower. Actually, I think it's a couple of levels lower. But look at that! Shadow Ball actually did a lot more than I thought. Go Zangoose! And I don't want to be hit by that static. This is a from Sand Face. Sin Attack, Ground Type move, super effective. Nope, more like Shadow Ball. I like it's like. Zangoose is awesome. Just overall, Zangoose is awesome. I never actually use Zangus on my team either. Like mainly the Pokemon I used on my team all were elemental in a way. Fire, grass, water, electric. You know, that was mainly what I used in my Pokemon teams. And there were occasional times where I used a Shadow Pokemon that were probably one of the last in the game at the moment. Mawile needs to fire blast somebody. No one calls for me, but here I am. Ta-da! Well, you're about to get burned. Flip this. Flip this. Mr. Philippine. He sends up Tarmeco and Kecleon. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We got Brick Break against Kecleon, and we got Fane Attack against Tarmeco. I'm loving that critical hit! Dang, Zangoose, you are a beast! Well, 
Who are not tall? Oh, hold on. Hello? Good morning. Yes, I have. Is that it? Wow. Okay, that was weird. Alright, well, Fate Attack isn't cutting it. Let's go ahead and use Iron Defense. Increase Small Miles Defense. Well, that gives just takes everything out. So, so if I had to order the Pokemon in terms of strength on my team, Jolteo would obviously be number one because it can still take out pretty much anything. The other one would have to be... The second one would probably have to be Zangoosh. Just gonna have, look at it, it's still taking everything. Let's try counter once. Let's fire blast my Deanna. Yeah, counter's gonna help. Mighty Anna dug a hole. No! Wait, do what they do in the anime. Look down the hole and use Fire Blast. Yeah, see, our, our attack may be decreased, but counter does counter does certain damage depending on how much damage it dealt to it first. Crush Claw! Oh, yay! Those Zangoos. And the title of this video is Zangoose Goes Ham. Ooh. It's like, is that all he got? He literally falls down and he goes, is that it? My gosh. Oh, oh my wow. You had your time in the, you had your time in the limelight. But that time is over now. Freak Freak Zangoose. Look at that attack decrease and still almost a one hit KO. No! I'm wasting fire blast. Actually, hold on. Counter. Like Mawa had your had its time in the limelight, but now it's time is over for there is a new member to step into the ring. Thank you, like <laughs> Bow! Let's go, Zangoose, let's go. Let's go, Zangoose, let's go. Oh yes, it's Tyler Crunch. Um, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about accuracy now, so we're gonna switch out Fake Attack for Crunch. Crunch has 20 extra power and has a chance of lowering, I think, special defense, giving Fire Blast a better chance for power. I'm, I lost. I'm shocked. I'm in shock, dude. You never stood a chance against Zangoose. Zangoose looked at you and just shook his head in pity. And he looked at you and was like, No, 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 you're not allowed to go any further. That's what Zangoose should say. Except for Beyond Tar. You have two Shadow Pokemon. You have a Shadow Tangela and a Shadow Butterfree. And you run the Sunny Day Team. Yes. His team is pretty much Sunny Day oriented. Nine tails will you try to get off a sunny day? So we're gonna well Fire Blast so will be increased but what? Wow. Really? Everyone's still going for Sangu. Sangu really is even seen by the AI as a big threat. And why shouldn't it be? Just look at that damage. Giga Drain. Watch Sangu take that. Mmm. Just look at that. Level has no meaning here. Here we go. Boom! 
Yes, I know any other Pokemon would have taken that out, but screw you. Alright, I'm making I'm making use of my while as it is. Considering the potential Mawa has, which due to its typing it has none in the third generation, it's actually quite sad. Yeah, sunny day with the Zuril. Huzzah! And honestly, I would think I bet I think it would have been better off attacking um Zangus with that. Now it's using those teeth for actually something fighting. There's his first Shadow Pokemon, Shadow Tangela. Yes, Shadow Tangela. Actually, not as bad po Grass Pokemon, but it's probably my least favorite Grass Pokemon. Just because I looked at it before and I just wondered, that's so weird. All those vines with those two eyes and them feet. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and switch out both our Pokemon right now. Oh, wait. Actually, I think we're good. Actually, we can keep it in my while. We'll go ahead and use a suit potion on Jolteon. For the next battle, I will heal off at once. Good thing I switched when I had a chance. Roll out. What? I don't get it. But anyways, like I said in the previous video, we're going to mainly go for Tangela first. Tangela has very bad special defense. Has it two defenses, special defense is its worst. You can say it's the cloister of grass Pokemon. Good defense, bad special defense. Even though Mamawile has special attack mainly, I don't think it'll kill it. And it has a new, uh, the new Shadow move, Shadow Raid. That's what it looks like. Power is about 70. I've actually failed to capture Shadow Tangela back in the day. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna Thunderbolt Azumarill and Crunch Tangela. Down, down, down you go. Next is out a Butterfree, who again, well, not again, but it's a male, yet Butterfree looks like a female type Pokemon. Roar! As you can see right there, Fire Blast would have just destroyed that thing. It's still not doing a lot of damage though, so. So we're gonna go ahead and paralyze the other one. The reason I destroyed Azumarill is because I. I think I was a little overconfident and think I'm going to catch on my first try. Here we go. Pokeball. Go. Come on. One. Two. Three. Oh, yes. And the Pokeball steals the day. Now Butterfree is unable to move. Butterfree has Shadow Rush. I don't think Bite should kill it. It's gonna switch into uh, Zotu. Just because it hasn't seen any battle yet. Well, actually it has in the last video. Come on, Jotown. Leave it hanging. Oh, it's a crit. That's okay. Oh, shit! Oh, dude! Oh! Oh, 
it down. <laughs> Look at that. I got a critical hit. Oh my god. It's so bull crap. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. One. <laughs> okay, see, you can already tell that Butterfree's a BA. It survived not only a critical hit from Bite, but it's also just, it's all, I'm just saying closer to that good chance, but it's also like, you ain't gonna capture me. Mm mm. Do you know why? I'm Butterfree. And you know what I am? Butterfree. <sighs> I like making jokes, but mine are right now just being corny. Oh, I think I already used one, that's why. Well, spice can't hurt it. Go! Let's see how this one works. One. Two. Three. And Butterfree was caught. Can you ma can you see that CA Butterfree? It survived a critical hit bite. Yeah, you're not supposed to win. That was been the same for Butterfree. Butterfree's like, you're not supposed to win. No critical hits. Jeez, man. Butterfree was amazing. Like, I knew bite would hurt, but for it to survive a critical hit. Yeah. Wow. You gotta go this way. See, we need that lever right there. But this is... Remember him? He's Sniddle. The guy who is the nerd. He's actually not that bad. He's actually pretty powerful. He has only one Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Magneton. If you still need a Light Strike Pokemon, Magneton's also a good setup because it's got great special attacks. It's not good on speed, but it's got good defense special attacks. But Zangoose and Mawile have something to say about that, don't you boys? That's right. See, the C's already strong. He has Wall Fat. So Wawafet's over Wawafet, I may not like Wawafet, but Wawafet, don't get me wrong, is an excellent Pokemon. It's got the bulk to use its counter and mirror coat to its advantage. So yeah. Also a couple of the Pokemon that has a bug ghost type uh, super effective move. Or Sedinja will wall your team. Although if you have a Shadow Pokemon as well, I'm pretty sure that works just as fine. He says that Labrava next. Oh, he's using Destiny Bond. Okay. And we're going to attack with Mawile to where it hopefully doesn't take Mawile down because Zangu's attacked a lot. I don't know how Destiny Bond works, 100%. Ooh! That thing must be holding a Focus Sash! Don't paralyze us, please. I mean, we're going to go ahead and take the attack, but don't paralyze us. How many of you there are saying, you know, it's going to paralyze you now? Uh oh. Sorry, Mawile. I, I was a terrible trainer at that moment in time. The thing just got all the experience because of it, though. You've made me mad. Jolteon, go! He's gonna send out his Shadow Magneton.
got shot away as well. Dang, he's still taking all those moves like a boss. We're just going to chip away at it because I have this feeling that Thunderbolt might take it out. Even though it's not very effective, I've got this feeling in my head that that's going to happen. Yeah, that's good. One more, we'll, we, we can be able to start catching it. And it's defense fell, so... Brick Break would have definitely taken it out. Oh, no more Crush Claws. Dang. Zangus is doing too much work. Shadow Ball. Wow. He lowered its de both its defenses by a stage. Anyway, it's time to start catching this guy. And then I'm going to go ahead and end the video off there. Well, I mean, we could probably, I, and I, you know, I'll do one more battle then. Okay. Well, obviously, my time right there, he said, eh, nah, hell no. I ain't getting captured, hell no. Zangoose, you have been held in battle. I still have eight potions. That's funny because I don't need potions anymore. Go, snag ball. Go. Snag the shadow. One. Two. Oh. Well, I'll be damned. The first shadow would want to be, you know. You know what? Do this do the snag next to take a little bit of time. We're actually going to end the video after this Pokemon. You know, I'm, I mean, of course, certain Pokemon are going to fail eventually, but, you know, Pokemon can snag with every Pokemon snag. Come on, one, two, three, all right, there we goes, there we go, we snagged it, we snagged it, you know, we will be able to fit in one last battle, depending on how fast I do it, so we're going to go for the effective route, don't worry, Mawile, we'll revive you eventually. Cloister needs some levels though. Cloister is probably one of the lowest levels on my team right now. So, we're gonna go ahead and battle you. We are now at the top of the Cypher building. He's Cypher Peon Fuddler. He's got a Mock Chalk and a Golem. He's got our Cloister and our Jolteon. He does not have a Shadow Pokemon. All optional battles do not have Shadow Pokemon. The only two optional battles you had at the time were at the very beginning of the game. Those, the Shadow Poochiana and Ladaba. So this battle shouldn't take long at all. I, I actually know how this guy battles. He's not all that strong if you have if you have that type advantage.
Thank you for that critical hit. Alright, that's the end of this video pretty much. Like, we didn't get hurt at all, you notice that? His Pokemon didn't get a single, his Pokemon didn't get a single move off. Pretty much, you got beat like that, you know. Anyways guys, that's the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, anyway, see you guys then.